Okay, so we're under the car. First thing is to get all these 10 mil nuts off, so call the screwdriver. Well, some are longer than others, so we'll mark the long ones. We'll try and keep them in order. Right, that's all the bolts out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So the under tray is just held on by this little lip here and under the diffuser, so it should. There we go. Just slide off nicely. Put that out the way. Okay, so that's the sump plug. And the filter housing is just there. Oil container ready. Uh, it's a 14 millimeter sump plug, so we'll just gently crack that by the socket. Make sure we're in the right place for the oil container to fetch everything. Should have the other container ready, but I'll have this sump plug in my hand ready to put back in. There we go. Now I should say the engine was warmed up previous to this. Obviously a warmer engine, the oil runs a lot quicker. You probably can't see on the video, but that's actually quite clean, that oil. You can see it's like a dark brown rather than a, a black. So the car's been looked after, that's a good sign. We'll just let that drain out now. Okay, that's the oil drain out the sump. Now we've got the filter to take out, and uh, that's a 65mm, I've got my little tool kit, and um, cap to go on there. So that just goes on. And I'm going to catch the oil, hopefully, because I'm sure some oil will come out. Get a few rags ready for us. And up on the top to put it on there. And that looks like it's hand tight now, so we'll do it by hand. Yeah. I'm just gonna get this little pot under here ready. Hopefully I can still see what I'm doing. It's just starting to drip a little bit. Whoa! Oops! Nice. That's the filter out. Just let that drain for a bit. And up to the work top, to the workbench, to change the O-rings round. Right, so we've got the filter, <coughs> filter housing up on the bench. This should just pull out now. Apparently. Yeah. Just a little bit of oil on that. Wrap that in a little oil cloth. Let's throw a cup. That's what it looks like inside. 
on the filter. There's no particular way it goes. Just slides over that middle bit. I can feel the non-return valve in there. That's nice and free, that's working okay. Right, so we're just going to have to take this little ring off now. That's the ring you want to go in. A little slot just there to pull it out of. And that's the little place where the new ring goes. Right. Normally I would oil this up but there's actually quite a bit of oil in there already so we'll just slot it in place. Make sure it's a bit of oil there. It's in the right slot, which it is. So there we go with the seal in the proper little place. It's got two to written on there. That's the plug. Um, yeah, you should really take this out and let the oil drain out controllably and then unscrew the filter, but that was ready for it. So I didn't need to take that off. I think what I would do you know, next time is actually take that off. And then I would have to replace the, the O-ring with it. Uh, it's a bit neater. But I'm just going to fill that with oil now. Prime it all up. Screw it back in. Hand tighten a little bit. It does actually say 25 plus or minus 5 Newton meters. As always I'm just going to pre-oil it. I fill it with a bit of oil. And let it soak into the filter paper. <coughs> Just means the engine's not running without oil for a little bit longer than normal. A nice little bit of oil there. Just lubricate the the seal. Right, that oil is just below the lip. Don't want to spill too much. So, we'll fit it. Right, without spilling it everywhere. I'll fill it up. And righty tighty. It's a nice housing. Got some nice little flanges on it to get hold of. Just them um, and just keep turning it. Hand tighten a little bit. Oh, that's tight that. Alright, that's just about all drain now. I could be here forever, I think. It's just a small drain all the time. So we'll put the sun plug back in. There's a washer already on there, you can't really see, but. I just used the same one, I didn't get a new one, but next time I'll put a new washer in. New crush washer. Nice, yes, there's a sun plug in. Just give it a little nip with the socket. It really doesn't need much at all. Should be good clean up. Right, with the car back on the ground, take the engine cover off first. Just two little clips. So there's the old filler cap and the old dipstick's just at the back there, that little orange. Um, that there, if you can see it. Get out of reach. Let's get this old filler cap off first. That's the filler cap off. Long spouted funnel. As I've said, we've, we know for a fact we can put a full um, 5 litre container in because we took out more than 5 litres. So just carefully now, pour it in. Put an oil mat in the build so I can just rest that on the clean oil mat while that pours in. Lovely clean oil. Won't stay clean for long. I could really do with tying that up. I 
actually, I might just get a tie up and tie up that up. Yeah, I'll do with that. Nice. That's it, nothing left in that one. I'll put another litre in this big, I'll put another litre in that tub there. Because I think I need another litre and I don't want to use a full one, it's too heavy. Easy doing it this way. Right, while I'm here, I'm just going to put some ZX1 in. Micro oil treatment. It could be snake oil. Don't know, but I'll put in every car I've had and I've always seen an improvement. Uh, so, for peace of mind, for what it costs, I'm going to stick some in. ZX1. Very thin stuff. It's supposed to coat the metal. I don't know if it does or not. But I've always seen an improvement and peace of mind. Let's see if we can reach that dipstick now. On my steps. I think I'll just step in there as well. Oh, that's difficult. Right. I'm going to make some space in the boot and put one leg in the boot, I think. So let's check the dipstick. I'm going to actually climb into the boot. And reaching all the way over. And pull the dipstick out. That's good. Right near the full line. And put it all the way back in. Who said they weren't easy to work on? Right, so let's let the engine to cool for a little bit. Let the oil fill up all the arteries or whatever it does. Fill up the oil filter. And we'll check that oil level again. Pull the dipstick out. Just gonna quick clean. So we're gonna get a false level. Put it back in again. And then hopefully we can pull it out and just check that level. Oh, it's quite low. Just above the minimum mark actually, we'll let that settle a bit more. Right, that's filled up again. Just chopped up a little bit. Last check it up. In the boot. Up the level. That's it, perfect. Now put the engine cover back on. Time to go up. <laughs> Okay, so there's no leaks on the filter, on the sun plug, everything looks good. Time to put the under tray back on. And it should just slot on. I'll put it on the diet diffuser it first. And then just bring it back into that little, little lip just up here. Like that. On the lip.
the bolt That's a lot of undershare bolts. Right, that's it done. Alright, lots of aura to Osmo Fontaine oil and filter is done. Hope you found it useful. Hope it might give you a bit of uh, confidence to do it yourself. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Helps me a great deal when you subscribe, plus also lets you know when the next video is produced. Right. Thanks for watching. Safe marching.